Okay, we're going to finish this. And hopefully this will last to the end. I don't know. <clears throat> it's a long one. Okay. 29. All thrones and dominions, principalities and powers shall be revealed and set forth upon all who have endured valiantly for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah, I just keep suffering. I mean, you know. I mean, you think about it. They're throwing Christians to the lions, and then all these years later, the, the it's going happening to the Latter Day Saints. It's like, hang in there, buddy. <laughs> One of these days, this shit's really going to come true. <coughs> Thank you. Thirty. And also, if there be bounds set to the heavens or to the seas or to the dry land or to the sun, moon, or stars. 31. All the times of their revolutions, all the appointed days, months, and years, and all the days of their days, months, and years, and all their glories, laws, and set times shall be revealed in the days of the dispensation of the fullness of times. Whew. Man. He's in jail. Got nothing better to do, so he's running a little long. He's got plenty of time. Months, according to the preface and everything. All right. 32. According to that which was ordained in the midst of the council, capitalized, of the eternal God, of all other gods before the world was, that should be reserved unto the finishing and the end thereof, when every man shall enter into his eternal presence and into his immortal rest. 33. How long can rolling waters remain impure? What power shall stay the heavens? As well might man stretch forth his puny arm to stop the Missouri River in its decreed course somebody ordered that river to run that way it was decreed in its decreed course or to turn it up stream as to hinder the almighty from pouring down knowledge from heaven unto the heads of the latter day saints They sound so special when you put it that way. <clears throat> 34. Behold, there are many called, but few are chosen, and why are they not chosen? Hmm? Any guesses? Any guesses? Anyone? Anyone? 35. Because their hearts are set so much upon the things of this world. You know, this one. I own like a little chunk of it right now. <sighs> this world. And aspire to the honors of men that they do not learn this one lesson. 36. That the rights of the priesthood are inseparably connected with the powers of heaven, and that the powers of heaven cannot be controlled nor 
handled only upon the principalities of righteousness. <coughs> 37. That they may be conferred upon us, it is true. But when we undertake to cover our sins, or to gratify our pride, our vain ambition, or our exercise control or dominion or compulsion upon the souls of the children of men in any degree of unrighteousness behold the heavens withdraw themselves and the spirit of the Lord is grieved and when it is with drawn a men to the priesthood or the authority of that man. Uh, okay. 38. Behold, ere he is aware, he is left unto himself to kick against the pricks, to persecute the saints, and to fight against God. Well, I mean, God, if you're going to kick the pricks, you may as well fight God. <laughs> I've never... <laughs> kick, kick the pricks. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just that's beautiful. <laughs> Sounds sacred somehow. All right, kick the bricks. Uh, <laughs> that ought to be like a punk rock band, you know. Uh, <laughs> Thirty-nine. We have learned by sad experience that it is the nature and disposition of almost all men, as soon as they get a little authority, as they suppose, they will immediately begin to exercise unrighteous domin dominion. Doesn't that seem to happen every time? Yeah. But you know, it's alright if you drink the Kool-Aid, you know, you'll be fine. Take that lemming leap. <laughs> Uh, that leap of faith. Sorry, lost my place. Too. 40. Hence, many are called, but few are chosen. There's a citation there, let's see if I can see it. Uh, C.E. Section 29. E. Okay. Oh, that wasn't worth the effort. Oh, fuck my eyes all up. Okay. Anyway, I've heard that one before. <sighs> 41. No power or influence can or ought to be maintained by virtue of the priesthood only by persuasion, by long-suffering, by gentleness and meekness, and by love unfeigned. 42. By kindness and pure knowledge, which shall greatly enlarge the soul without hypocrisy, that's nice. And without guile. Yeah, you never see that shit in church. <coughs> no gossiping either. Never see that shit in church. <laughs> 43. Reproving betimes with sharpness when moved upon by the Holy Ghost. It's like you're possessed to do it. 
And then showing forth afterwards an increase of love towards him who thou hast reproved, lest he esteem thee to be his enemy. I get it. Yeah. I think that's what he was trying to say. Uh, <laughs> for those hearing impaired people, or anybody really. Uh, 44. <laughs> <clears throat> that he may know that thy faithfulness is stronger than the cords of death. That means after he's dead, he still believes. <laughs> if he's doing anything besides, you know, decomposition. 45. Let thy bowels also be full of charity towards all men and to the household of faith. And can't wait to find out. Damn. <laughs> and let virtue garnish thy thoughts unceasingly. Then shall thy confidence wax strong <clears throat> in the presence of God and the doctrine of the priesthood shall distill upon thy soul as the dews from heaven, and that's D E W, not D U E S. It means the same thing this time. Pay your dues. 46. The Holy Ghost <coughs> shall be thy constant companion, me and my shadow, <sighs> and thy specter and thy scepter an unchanging scepter of righteousness and truth and thy dominion shall be an everlasting dominion and without compulsory means it shall flow unto, unto thee forever and ever made it through 21 and boy what the hell that's what happens when you're writing from jail well the adventures of joseph smith will continue i think it's getting interesting and this isn't the first time he's been in jail or the last let me know what you think I'd love to hear it. Let's get a thread going. A whole bunch of threads. I think this is uh, suddenly worth reading. Again. Peace. The fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. Be sure to let me know if you learned something or have some kind of insight. I'm done.